Hello. Today I have created an index PDF file for a book using the PDF Index Generator program. The customer wanted to have this index in InDesign format, so in this tutorial I will explain how to do that using Adobe InDesign. Let's first open Adobe InDesign. I will need to create a new document, but if I click File, New Document, it will show a window with some size templates that I can choose from. Instead, I prefer to specify the new document dimensions on my own, so I will close that window. And on the top bar, I will click the Exit Touch Workspace button. That will close this touch mode for Adobe InDesign, and it will show a normal menu bar for Adobe InDesign instead. Now click File New Document. We're now getting a window with full control for the newly created document. Set the units to be in inches. Let's check the dimensions for the PDF file pages. It has width of 6.25 inches, and height of 9.25 inches. So let's enter that here. 6.25 inches and 9.25 inches. The PDF file has 17 pages. So, in Adobe InDesign we will set the number of pages to 17. As for the page margins, we will use the same margins used in the index PDF file. 0.61 for the top margins. 0.70 for the bottom margins. 0.87 for the left margins. And 0.9 for the right margins. And click create. Now we have an InDesign document file of 17 empty pages. It's time to import the PDF file to this empty document. If the touch workspace mode has been reset again, like in my case, then exit this mode once again, to show the InDesign menu bar. Click File, Place. Select the index PDF file, to import it here. But before clicking Open, it's important to enable this checkbox, Show Import Options. Then click Open. This window shows the importing options, and it allows us to specify which pages to import, from the PDF file. By default it will import only the first page from the PDF file, so instead we will select, All. Then click OK. Now the mouse cursor will appear with a page hanging to it, to specify where to place the imported page. I will just place the cursor at the top left of page, and click to drop the page here. That looks good. Notice that the cursor has another page hang to it. That's page number 2, so let's scroll to page 2. And drop page 2 here. We will do the same for all other pages. Done. You might notice that the resolution of the file here looks with low quality. To fix that, simply click, View, Display Performance, and click High Quality Display. That fixes the resolution issue for our file. Our file looks good now, so let's save it. Click File, Save. And let's save our InDesign file. I hope that has given you a brief explanation for how to save your PDF file as an InDesign file. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.